more Syrians uprooted from their homes. Hundreds of families from southern Dara have been forced to leave as fighting between opposition rebels and ISIL-affiliated fighters has intensified. The plight of the displaced is indescribable. Many women gave birth to children in this valley. Mothers were carried out on horseback. Those who refused were forced to make the journey on foot for hours. Western Dara is the southernmost part of Syria straddling the Jordanian and Israeli borders. Local groups, Yermuk Martyrs Brigade and Al Muthanna movement broke away from the Al Nusra Front and joined ISIL in 2014. The mountainous terrain has allowed fighters from both sides to push back regime forces over the years. Now fighting between opposition groups and ISIL affiliated fighters in the Yermuk Valley Basin has intensified. What you see then is uh, IS actively, choosing, actively opening up a, a front in Dera uh, against uh, the rebels. Uh, which is different from the prior status quo where um, Shuhad al-Muk was at war with Jabhat al-Nusra and its uh, coalition of allies, whereas now you see an active new offensive, uh, an activation, I think, of uh, IS cells in Dara, so to speak. Groups like Ahrar al-Sham, al-Nusra Front and the Free Syrian Army have been fighting to keep Dara out of the control of government forces. But the civilian population now finds itself stuck in the middle of a three-way fight between the Assad government, ISIL and opposition fighters. Umm Ahmed is among those forced to find safety in the mountains. Her family has turned a livestock truck into a new home. We were forced to run for our lives. We went through these steep ridges with our children. We were made homeless by the regime. What kind of life is it? Is this a life? But after five years of war, life in Syria is really just a matter of survival. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.